Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and this is Bliss Studio Hobbies. So hello, hi, welcome to another diamond painting video. So today we are on day 21. Yes, 21 of our 25 days of Christmas. Again, we have our cat ear diamond painting advent calendar here and we are gonna open day 21. All right, where is 21? Here we are. Can't believe we're on day 21. I believe this one had um, one of the extras to it. So I don't think there's anything in this box. No, there is some writing at the bottom. What does it say? Bookmark. So let me go get those. So here are the extras. So this is day 21 here. Oh, so it's bookmarked. So let's get that open. All right, so you have the little cute little tassels here for your bookmarks. And okay, we have a peacock. That one's super pretty. Love that. And we have the little lady with the dress. Look like the dress is supposed to have peacock feathers in it. So yeah, we have two bookmarks. These are like thick faux leather bookmarks. So yeah, they smell like, like faux leather too. So yeah, you get your bookmarks for day 21. Those are cute and fun. I have worked on diamond painted bookmarks before and I did really enjoy them. So yeah, Let it, let's open up the drills. Um, you get your standard toolkit. Let's open up these drills really quickly. I already see some special drills in here. So we have some rhinestones here, red and yellow, blue, green, more blue, purple, and then we have those hot pink slivers or uh, teardrops there. We have some bigger blue ovals and then some orange. I've really been liking like the iridescent orange colors and all these special drills I've been opening lately. And then we have like the little peacock feathers there in that blue green color so yeah fun fun bookmarks so yeah bookmarks for day 21 Alrighty, here is our Diamond Art Club Advent Calendar, our 12 Days of Sparkle. Today we are on day number nine. So let's see what Diamond Art Club has in store for us for day nine. Ooh, where is day nine? Over here, no. Oh, here's day number nine. Let's see what's inside. All right, what do we have? Oh, we have release papers. So day number nine holds our release papers. So this is 100 pieces and they are three inch by four inch. So that's super fun. 100 pre-cut sheets. I love release papers. These are probably just the standard white like release papers. Let me see. Oh, these are the Diamond Art Club branded release papers. Super fun and cute. And then they are smaller than the normal release papers. So you can section off your paintings love release papers so day nine for diamond art club holds our release papers so your release papers will take the place of that clear plastic film that you see on the diamond paintings it allows you to section off your paintings so that you can work on one square at a time it's really satisfying to use release papers and i love it that's something that i will totally use are the release papers it's especially good for when you're sectioning off those big diamond paintings. 
so that it's not overwhelming to look at. So yeah, love the release papers for day number nine. I will see you guys tomorrow for day 10. These advent calendars have been so fun. It's like a little treat every day. So for today, I have a little package here. So these are ornaments. They are snowflake ornaments. I got these off of Amazon. I will link them in the description box down below. So I thought today would be a little fun day to work on some ornaments and have a little chat, right? So here's how they come packaged. Let's get them open. So my initial idea with these ornaments, I was going to get a small little Christmas tree for my office. And I was going to do like a winter wonderland theme. And I was going to diamond paint these ornaments and put it on that Christmas tree. It would be like a little small Christmas tree from like five below or something like that. Um, but I kept forgetting to get the tree. And then the other day I went to five below to get the tree for this video and um, they didn't have any more. So I'm like, you know what, it's fine. It's like a week before Christmas. I'm probably not gonna have that tree up long. So let me just do like a whipping chat style with the ornaments instead. This was also supposed to be the first video I completed for the 25 days of Christmas so I can decorate that tree and have it up for a while. But I kept forgetting to get the tree. I would go to the store to get the tree and come out with everything except for the tree. So that's the story behind that. <laughs> so here we are, we have some snowflakes. I thought these were super cute and super fun to do a winter wonderland theme with these. Now there were there are 20 in a pack. So I'm like, that's enough for a small little tree. I think these will be fun to do with the kids and to decorate a tree with. So it's all different kind of snowflakes. Um, Oh yes, they are double-sided. So double-sided little snowflakes that you diamond paint and it's an ornament. So they give you the attachment. So looking at this, it did say ornaments, but these are like lobster claws. So you can also use these as a keychain, I suppose, with the lobster clasped here. So there's that and they give you the little bead string and all of that. So this kit includes everything you should need. Oh, they give you two little tool kits so that two people can work on them. That's cool because there are 20 of these. So I guess I can diamond paint these and then that'll be an idea I can have to um, decorate a little tree next year with my diamond painted ornaments if I'm still into that sort of thing. So let me get everything set up and I will be back to kit this up and we're gonna diamond paint some ornaments. Well, hello everyone. I am back and I am ready to work on my project. So I did off camera kit up all of these little special drills here so we can get started on some snowflakes and have a little chit chat. So I really, I really love the colors in this. Of course, there's lots of blues and um, all blues and oh I mean when I kitted up I didn't even realize that those were hearts oh my gosh I didn't even realize that I was so busy just kidding up it's only eight colors in here so I just wrote like the symbol number on there to kit up and we are going to get started so I am going to use this tray now if you've been watching all of my 25 days of Christmas this tray was from the Cat Ear Diamond Painting Advent Calendar, and it was for day 18. So I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to try the tray out. I'm only going to use one side with eight colors. Um, I won't need both of them. So yeah, and then I am going to use the Pretty Placer, which are the Placer crayons. Um, to do this with because I like the way they work out with the special drills, especially the slivers and things like that. I find these work a little bit better picking them up than the pen. You can only single place with these, but um, single placing is what you have to do with the little snowflakes anyway. So this I will link the pretty placers down below as well as uh, to this project, which I got this project from Amazon. There are 20 different little snowflakes that you diamond paint. And they are ornaments or you can use them as keychains or whatever you like. I This is so pretty. I think I'm going to do this one first. I think I'm going to do this one per first. They are uh, double sided. So you diamond paint each side. 
So I'm going to work on these and we're going to chat a bit. So I'm all over the place. I know this is mint cucumber. I'm going to use the mint cucumber crayon. They do have a scent to them. Now I've had these for quite some time. I did unbox these crayons on the channel and they are still very fragrant. Um, some, so I will link them down below as well as the project, like I said. So let's get started and chat a bit. First things first, so while we chat, I will be drinking my tea. It is um, healthy fasting sweet tangerine, my favorite yogi tea. Our tea bag has a little message on it. It says, be guided, listen to the whispers of the universe. All righty. Love that. I love tea and I drink several glasses of tea each day. Let me know down below in the description box what your beverage of choice is. I love tea in the morning. What do you guys drink to wake up in the morning? Do you drink coffee, pop tea? I do not like coffee. I can't stand the taste of coffee. And everyone's like, how do you work midnights? And how are you a nurse and you don't like coffee? I don't like coffee at all. I literally just prefer tea. So we're going to work with our first color here. It is very hard for me to diamond paint and like have a coherent conversation, but I'm going to do my best. Now just know that in this tray, all of our diamonds will not line up perfectly just for the simple fact that these are bigger than our normal um, diamonds that you would normally see. So these are not going to line up perfectly in the tray. So that's not a fault of the tray. It's just because the drills are um, a different size. So yeah. So I thought these would be little fun projects to do. I have not really completed like whipping chats on the channel. I do want to do more whipping chats, but I always feel like I won't have anything to talk about or my life is not like interesting enough to like chat with people about. So here's my attempt to do a whipping chat. <laughs> that's pretty, that's pretty already. So yeah, there'll be a lot of silent moments because... When I'm like concentrating, I don't tend to talk. So, but you don't really have to concentrate the diamond paint, right? It's just like a, you can do it mindlessly. But what do you guys normally do when you are diamond painting? I like to listen to true crime stories. Um, I have been um, watching Lifetime movies on YouTube as I diamond paint. I've spent less and less time diamond painting, especially with doing the 25 days of Christmas. Now, I typically, before, I would diamond paint every day. But then I got my puppy and I realized that I can't diamond paint when he's out because he's so wild and just knocks everything over. So it's not worth the hassle of me like keep telling him to stop or to stop jumping on the table or this or that. And um, I do think that at some point I'm going to take my puppy to like behavior classes. Now, I've tried to train him myself. He's a golden retriever. So they're supposed to be easy to train, right? So I've been trying to train him myself. Um, but it's not. It's <laughs> he's made a lot of progress. I got him when he was three months. He's eight months old now. So he's getting older and he's made a lot of progress. But he's still like very naughty and I know he's a puppy and I like try to have patience with him but I just can't get anything done because he's like nipping at the Christmas tree or ripping up whatever he finds or chewing on things and he's already gotten sick uh like twice you know vomiting and stuff and I'm like he probably is eating something he's not supposed to be eating you know so I just I can't get anything done with him out so right now while I record this really quickly which I probably won't chat long because he's barking but um he's in his cage um and I don't like to keep him in the cage for uh, a long period of time and he doesn't like being in his cage of course because he's not around people so he's upstairs in his cage and I'm downstairs in my craft room just trying to complete this video and, you know, I try to do it while he's out and there is no way, there is no way I can do this. Oh, I missed some ones. There's no way I can even record a video while he's out. 
And of course, my husband is at work, so um, he has to stay in the cage. But I gave him uh, some safe toys that he can't destroy and swallow the contents of to keep him company in his cage. But when he, he hears movement or talking or anything, he barks just so I don't forget that he's up there, right? <laughs> All right. So this is day number 21 of the 25 days of Christmas. I have really been enjoying um, recording all of these videos, but they are time consuming. And um, I've learned a lot, a lot about YouTube, a lot about uh, posting and things like that, just by doing the these videos. So, so far, uh, I've done 20 videos. This is my 21st video. And um, okay, this is number three. I'm like, what number am I on? See, these are really quick to do. Like I'm almost done and I haven't been um, doing it that long. But anyway, recording these 20 videos, um, like I said, they've been fun, but it is a challenge to like keep up on things. At first I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna record all these videos in advance and I did, but it came to a point where I ran out of all the videos that I recorded. <laughs> And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have a video due tomorrow. I have to go record, right? <laughs> so I got to that point. So the last week I've been recording a video and then posting it, recording a video like day by day instead of like recording it in batches. So today should be my last batch of recordings. I should be able to get the rest of my recordings done for uh, the rest of the segments. And then there will just be me editing the videos and getting them up and you know, making a thumbnail and things like that. So it's been super fun. I will definitely do it again. Um, so I planned for these 25 days of Christmas, but oh my gosh, you know, with shipping coming in, I'm like, oh, I want this, I want that, I wanna show them this. But like with shipping and things like that, things not coming in time, you have to change around things, you have to have a backup plan. Um, I started ordering things like, I think I, November 1st, I thought it was the end of October, but when I went back to look, I think I started ordering my first things for this uh, November 1st or the last week in October, somewhere in there. And I'm like, I should have started ordering stuff in the beginning of October, but the problem is you don't, some people don't have a lot of Christmas things out for in October. So for me to prepare to do 25 videos can be kind of tedious with me ordering so close to the time I have to do the videos. Because like I was saying, you know, things don't come in. And then I wrote down the 25 videos in the order that I wanted to post the videos, the order that made sense. I wanted to alternate like Christmassy stuff with no, not Christmassy stuff. I initially wanted to put something Christmas and something not Christmas in each video. And I'm like, this can get pretty expensive, right? So I've just had to change things around and make do with what's come in in the mail and what's not come in and things like that. But I think it's going pretty good. And um, like I said, it hasn't been a bad experience. It's been a pleasant experience and I will definitely um, consider doing it again. I really enjoy making the videos, I do. Let me put this color back. And then we have one last color for this one. Guys, why am I using this tray like this? There's totally a spout here, but I am pouring them into the bag with this. I don't know why. <laughs> I just realized that. I'm like, what am I doing? Why am I making this more difficult for myself? I hope I, that's a good frame for you guys and you guys can see what I'm doing. And I hope I'm not blocking it with my hand because I just realized I wasn't even looking at the camera to make sure I was in frame while I did that first part. And I've just been talking, right? <laughs> so I wanted to uh, make a little video like this because I wanted to talk about like my plans for the new year and things like that. You know, new year, new me. We're all making like resolutions, right? So some of the things that I would like to accomplish in the new year is I would like to decrease my stash a bit. I shamefully, <laughs> of course, am a collector of diamond paintings. That's a part of the hobby. 
So I'm going to admit to you guys that right now I have 182 diamond paintings in my stash. I know some people don't understand the stash thing, but it's a part of the hobby. And it was a point where I had to purchase everything that I liked, you know. Now I'm to the point where I'm a lot more picky. I'm like, oh, I love that image, but I can put it on my wish list or, you know, uh, or I don't necessarily have to have that because I have something similar. There are certain diamond paintings like diamond paintings with butterflies and flowers and all the cutesy little things that I love that I'm like, oh, I really, really want that. But I'm like, you already have three diamond paintings with some flowers in it or you have three butterfly paintings you know so you don't really need that one so I'm starting to hone it in on what kind of things that I'm buying aside for the ones that I have um in my stash I have two jaded gem, gem shop diamond paintings on the way I purchased two for black friday so I have two of those on the way and then I have completed to date 115 diamond paintings now, I don't include my special projects like this into my diamond paintings. So actual diamond paintings, some big, some tiny, various sizes, various companies. I have completed 115 diamond paintings to date. Now, um, oh, also I should mention that I also have two whips. Um, I have Marie Laveau as my whip. Yes, I was supposed to complete that a long time ago in November. For the week I had off at my birthday. But that week is when I started like recording videos for the 25 days of Christmas. So I haven't been diamond painting a ton since then. And then I also have another whip at work. Which takes me a little bit longer. It's uh, I, I unboxed that one on the channel too. It's a, um owl with a blue Christmas ball. So that's my whip at work. Which I have some the oh I'm done the time I work it's inconsistent so some days I have a ton of work and I can't keep keep up and some days I don't have a lot of work and I'm walking around you know trying to you know find things to do so here is our first little snowflake how cute love it so you do diamond paint the back but I'm gonna move on to a different one so I can see how several of them turn out so that's cute. First one complete. All right, let's see. This is number two. So let me find one with twos on it so I can just keep this one out. Okay, this one has some twos on it. So we'll work with this one next. So yeah, so some days I can diamond paint a lot at work, but I tend to, and some days um, I can't diamond paint at all at work. Um, so there's that. So the two whips and I've been like, oh, I really, really want a diamond paint. But I'm like, I need to record a video or I need to, you know, my dog's being naughty and I need to get some of this energy off. You know, it's so funny because it's cold outside right now. And he he's, a, you know, he loves the cold. And I'm like, let's, you know, we go on our normal walk. Normally I take him on a walk. Um. And I'm tired after that walk, tired and cold, and he still wants to be out there. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it was so much better in the summer when it was hot out. You know, I would take him on two, two walks per day, but now we're down to one walk. It's just so cold. And like, I'm tired. I'm like, I'm tired. I'm sorry. And then I tried to play with him and um, he doesn't really play outside and I, I, he needs to, to get his energy off, he needs to be outside running full speed. But um, I try to bring him outside to play and he just wants to eat grass and stuff like that and chew on sticks. I'm like throwing the ball and he's barely bringing it back to me. And I'm like, this is how we're going to get your energy out. Please run and bring the ball back to me. Let's play fetch. And he, he goes get the ball once or twice and then he gets bored and I'm like in my backyard screaming his name like come on trying to excite him and my neighbor's probably like oh my gosh be quiet but he's not he doesn't play outside but in the house when we're in the house and I throw the ball he goes and get it and he brings it back and it's just fine it's just outside 
and I think he's just like so intrigued with like the things that are outside that he doesn't really want to play fetch he's like we play fetch in the house why would I play outside I can do something else right let me take a tea break so I don't know I don't even know how I got back to my dog my life is consumed with that little guy right <laughs> He just turned nine months. I will insert his nine month uh, picture here. And then I also have to take his Christmas photo. I bought him a little uh, Santa hat. Oh, let me do this the right way. In scarf. So he's been better with the clothes that I've been buying for him and leaving them on. Before when I would put clothing on him, he would just try to rip it off and he would not rest until that was off of him. Now I bought this walking harness because he pulls a ton on on the walks and he has hurt my shoulder before so I bought him this walking harness and he doesn't pull half as much it has been a godsend I tell you um he doesn't pull half as much but with that now I like put the clothes on him just to take his photo I don't make him keep them on because I know he doesn't like it and yesterday he had his sweater on for like an hour because you know I'm like oh he's used to that harness maybe so maybe he's getting used to the clothing or maybe he knows that I don't he, he's going to put it on for the picture and I take it off. I don't know. But anyway, that's that one that. So some other things uh, about diamond painting. I said that I wanted to work through my stash. I'm like, man, I'm all over the place. I'm always all over the place. That's just how my mind works. And I'm like, oh, let me finish that point I was making, right? <laughs> so I want to complete um, the diamond paintings in my stash. I don't need any more. Another goal I have for the new year is to de-stash some of these diamond paintings. Now, I know I've mentioned before that uh, I am attached to my diamond paintings <laughs> and de-stashing. I'm like, I can't get rid of that, even if I know I'm not going to work on it. I'm like, that is a part of my stash. But no, I do want to do a de-stash. I have some diamond paintings that I'm never going to get to. And with having that many, it's like, oh my gosh, I can share the wealth with other people. And it can go to a good home, a person that's going to be able to work on it. Especially if the kit's like discontinued and I know someone else wants it and I'm not going to be able to work on it anytime soon. Because let's face it, I always, um, at first I had FOMO, right? Fear of missing out. And I'm like, I have to get this. I love it. And what if it's not available anymore? Because I started diamond painting in 2020. And it was during a time where a lot of diamond paintings were sold out. So as they came back into stock, I was buying them up because I was used to them being out of stock. And that's how I initially got so many diamond paintings because I'm like, oh my gosh, this was out of stock for so long. It's taken three, four, sometimes six months to restock. So now that it's restocked, I have to have it because it's going to go out of stock and I'm going to miss out on it. And it's such a beautiful image. But I have learned, like, yes, that's a beautiful image, but I can, like, let's go support the artists in a different way if you love that image. Go buy, like, a, a sticker or a lot of them have shops where you can buy other things other than diamond paintings with that same image. So that's another way to support the artists if you love their artwork, if you uh, miss out on the diamond painting. And then... There's always going to be diamond paintings that we love and feel like we can't live without, right? I'm like, I don't need everything as a diamond painting. There's a lot of artists that I see on Instagram um, that I'm like, oh, I need to send their art to licensing. People will love this or I love this, you know? And I'm like, no, because that's just another reason for me to buy the diamond paintings, because if they license that and it comes out, I'm going to say, oh, that's the one I sent to licensing. I have to buy it, right? It's like, how do you stop buying all the things, right? And it's not even just the diamond paintings. It's the supplies as well. So, yeah, I want to get some of my stash down. And I was thinking about, like, how am I going to stop myself from buying tons of diamond paintings, um in the new year and I was thinking and I'm like okay maybe I can um oh this one is 
I'm like, maybe I can um, put a number on it. Like once you buy this many diamond paintings, you're done, right? So I was thinking and I'm like, okay, how about 14? And initially I said 12 diamond paintings next year, one for each month I can purchase. But I said, how about 14? Because I know companies are going to do like Black Friday sales and things like that, anniversary sales. And I already like have diamond paintings on my wish list. So I'm like 14 diamond paintings. So I hope to only purchase 14 diamond paintings in ne the next year, right? <laughs> I can buy 14 diamond paintings in one setting. Oh, why did I take all those out? It's only one H. So 14 is going to be my number. I am going to hope to not to only purchase 14 diamond paintings. I can purchase 14 at one time, then I'm done. I can purchase one a month. I can purchase two, you know, however I want to do it. But I can only purchase 14 diamond paintings in the next year. And I'm like, oh my gosh, how am I going to make videos on 14 diamond paintings? And I'm like, I'm just going to have to be creative, you know, because I can't keep like just buying diamond paintings. And another thing is, I'm like, okay. What if I be stash and then I'm able to buy more diamond paintings? And I'm like, I don't know. So for right now, <laughs> 14 diamond paintings. I don't need 14. So the fact that I'm giving myself that much leeway is great. I don't want to say, oh, I'm going to go on a no buy because historically, when I put myself on a no buy, as soon as something comes out that I love and I'm like, I've been waiting for this artist, then I justify buying it. So we'll see how I stick to this and you guys can go on the journey with me to only narrowing it down to 14 diamond paintings that I'm going to purchase. And I'm like, that includes snack size and regular diamond painting. So I have to choose wisely, right? And I'm like, what if all these companies just come out with all of these artists that I love? And I'm like, you don't need it. You do not need it. So I have to select carefully which diamond paintings that I'm going to be getting in the new year. And hopefully I can stick to that 14. That would be so awesome if I did. Or do you guys think I'm setting myself up for failure? Let me know. <laughs> Let me know what you think. <laughs> um, and I'm like, am I just setting myself up to, you know, go over that? But no, I don't need more than 14. And 14 is plenty, right? The large diamond, especially if I get a large diamond painting, am I even going to like complete that uh, volume of diamond paintings with the ones that I have? And I'm in the new year, I also hope to move to day shift right now. I work midnights. I would love to move to day shift. And if I move to day shift, I will not be able to diamond paint. That's another reason why I have time to diamond paint at work is because it's midnight's. And um, things are less busy. There's different um, different things on, you know, Midnight's has its ups and downs, but mainly downs <laughs> because it's Midnight's and you have to stay awake and you're tired. Um, but um, a day shift, there's no way I would be able to like have downtime and diamond paint. Like even if it's on like on midnights, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna take my 30 minute lunch, and I'm like, oh, I'm not really hungry because it's the middle of the night. So let me just um, diamond paint for 30 minutes, you know. Or if I'm like, I finished all my work and I still have an hour before I leave, and I'm not gonna take on more work because it sometimes it can take me over an hour to you know complete something. So I'm like, let me just diamond paint my last little bit. So here's our second snowflake. How cute. So we have one and two. And I think we're going to complete at least one more. I'm just rambling, guys. <laughs> Let me get used to doing whipping chats. I'm going to have to do more whipping chats in order not to buy things, right? Is this one that I've already done? That looks awful similar to that. I want to do a different one. Oh, this one has the heart in the middle. So let's complete that one. What number am I working on? This is number one. So we're the ones on this one. Yay, let's complete this one. So yeah, that's that with that. 14. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, guys, make sure you take your plastic off. I'm like, why isn't this sticking? Amateur move, right? <laughs> so yeah, that's that with that. So... 
I um, have these um, diamond painting advent calendars and I love advent calendars. I Like I said, I love surprises. Um, so I would definitely purchase um, the Diamond Art Club advent calendar again. I really like that they included diamond paintings in their advent calendar. So fun to see um, what you get every day. Really been enjoying that. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> if you catch my drift. Um, okay. So I'm done with the ones. So by, um, recording and editing 20 videos, um, I am noticing some things about myself. I'm like, Ooh, self-reflection. I'm like, my voice is so annoying. <laughs> How are people watching these videos? <laughs> but I think we all think our voice is annoying, right? When we hear ourselves, it's like cringe, right? I'm like, my videos are so cringy. How are people even watching this, right? And then I'm like, I say, all right, so much. Stop saying that. So when I'm recording now, I'm like trying not to say, all right, guys, all right, guys. And I'm trying not, you know, and I'm like, why am I saying that so much? I'm like trying to edit them out, but I'm saying it too close to another word to like edit it out and make the conversation flow. And I'm like, this is just, <laughs> this is just crazy. I'm like, all right, all right. And I'm like, how many times have I said all right in this video? I'm like, I need to put a counter on the screen for my videos and count how many times I say all right. Also, the amount of times that I want to burst out into song is ridiculous, okay? Um, when I used to work the floor, I am a nurse. I don't work the floor anymore. But when I used to work the floor, I had a coworker who <laughs> we would say uh, like a word, like say the word song. And then we would have to sing a song with the word song in it, you know, or say a word. And then the first song that comes to your head, you sing. And that's how my brain works. So I could say any word or someone can say any word. Um, and I can think of a song to sing. And when I'm saying words and videos, I think of songs and I have to like not sing them. I'm like, this is not this video is not meant to be a sing along. So I can't like sing every five seconds. Right. <laughs> but I really want to. And that's how my brain works. And it's pretty hard to like turn it off does anyone else work like that where you're constantly in song constantly in song i have a drill stuck there oh this one the ab coding looked like it's off so i'm gonna, just gonna trash that i'm trying to tell myself okay don't sing don't sing don't sing right one another thing that i would like to do is to Take my time a little bit more. When I'm diamond painting, I I can rush through a diamond painting, right? And for me, it's satisfying to like complete a diamond painting quickly. And I used to diamond paint very quickly. And that was when I was diamond painting uh, every day. Now I don't diamond paint every day, which is so sad. I wish I could still diamond paint every day, but I don't. I used to get off work in the morning and then come home and... Uh, Oh, that's how I started talking about my dog. I uh, used to come home and diamond paint uh, a little bit before I went to sleep. Like at least come home in the morning, take my shower, diamond paint for an hour and then go to sleep. But now I haven't been able to do that because I know I have to, you know, you got to do things with the dog and stuff like that. So that's why I haven't been diamond painting every day. We're going to place that heart in the center. Do you guys see how easy it is to use the pretty placer to place these special drills and to just pick up one? Oh my gosh, how adorable. What are we gonna do? We're gonna do twos. So yeah, I also think, I'm always saying this, that this would be a fun project to do with your kids or your grandkids and you guys can decorate the tree. So fun and I, the, and then these will last from season to season. 
I also, by looking at this, this would be good as like a, you can use the snowflake as like um like the, the car charms. I'm always thinking about car charms. I don't know why. <laughs> and put it like in your mirror, rear view mirror and have like a charm, car charm. That'd be super fun to use with these. And I like that these come with the lobster claws so that you can use them as more than ornaments because normally ornaments don't come with that lobster claw so it can be a keychain anything anything like that the possibilities are endless right so with these you have to make sure you don't press down too hard because the tip becomes dull. I like when the tip is dull like that, but in order to sharpen it, I just kind of squeeze it a little bit and it sharpens. Well, it's a little bit sharper now. Oops, was that in frame? I'm sorry, guys. You're like, what are you saying? What are you talking about? You're not in frame. So hopefully that was in frame and you guys got to see how I sharpen it. So cute. I haven't looked at Pretty Placer in a while. I hope they're still selling the Pretty Placer crayons. She has a shop on Etsy, and that's what I'm going to link down below. But, yeah, I haven't heard anything about them in a while. I think last time I checked, they had wax, if I'm not mistaken. They had wax as well. I'll link it below so you guys can check it out and see what you find on there. All right, so some um, other goals I have for the new year that are not like diamond painting relating is I would like to learn a new language. I know like I know like a couple of words in Spanish, but I want to be fully fluent in Spanish and I would like to find a program so that I can learn Spanish. I want to learn Spanish and I want to learn French, too. But I'm like, Spanish, I know a couple of things, a couple of words. So let's start there. And I've been wanting to do this for quite some time. Um, I have a box set. Like I bought, I was at a garage sale. I love garage sales, by the way. I was at a garage sale and they had like box sets. And I bought one in Spanish and I bought one in French. So I have like box sets. <laughs> I think they come with DVDs. I don't even think I own a DVD player. Who owns a DVD player? Let me know if you still own a DVD player. But they have these box sets. So I have these box sets that are still in plastic, never open. And now they have like these apps like Babbel and things like that. And I'm like, oh, if I try the app, I can like do a little, um, what are these? These are A's. I can do like a little lesson on the go. They have like 10 minute lessons and things like that. So I'm like, maybe I'll try Babbel or something like that just to start to learn Spanish because that's one of the things I would like to do. Also, I would like to touch up on my sign language. Now, um, American Sign Language, ASL, I did know sign language pretty good. I have um, some family members that are deaf and they use ASL. So I grew up around sign language and I used to know it pretty well. But now that I haven't used it in a while, I, I it's, I've lost like what I've known, you know? And I would like to become fluent in that again. So that's two things that I hope that I can like accomplish in the new year as well that are not like diamond painting related are the languages yeah so I would like to uh work on that those things a bit um the reason why I'm like I need to touch up on my sign language is because uh one time I had uh, a patient who spoke in ASL was a deaf patient and no one could really communicate. And we were like waiting for the interpreter or whatever. And I was able to go into the room and speak with the person and, you know, understand their basic needs. And they were like really just so appreciative that someone, you know, I'm not fluent in it anymore. 
but that someone can understand like what they were you know trying to say you know they were getting pretty frustrated so that was amazing for me and i'm just telling the people like why aren't um they could have wrote down what they were trying to say you know i don't know but that was pretty amazing to me and i'm like yeah i need to touch up on this um just for my job and so that i, I can you know be proficient and be able to communicate with you know a wide range of people and then i've had an increase amount of patients with who speak spanish so i would like to learn that as as well so that would help me career-wise and in my personal life with learning those things these little slivers are so intricate <laughs> But yeah, I'm almost done with this one. This is the third one. I'm almost done with it. So yeah, not much else going on. I am done with shopping for the Christmas season. And I was thinking, I'm like, how? Christmas is like so commercialized, you know? And I'm like, how did we get here? How did we get here to it being all about gifts and presents and things like that, you know? And don't get me wrong, I love gift giving. I love buying gifts for other people. I love seeing how their face lights up when they open a gift and things like that. But I was just thinking, I'm like, Christmas is just all about what you want and, you know, getting gifts and things like that. That's what it has become. These little intricate little slivers here. So yeah, guys, I don't have much more to talk about. I didn't have anything to talk about anyway. I said, you know what? I'm never going to do a whip and chat if I like chicken out. Just turn on the camera and get to talking. Because I know I can talk, right? This one's so pretty. And I love the heart in the center. And as you can see, these are not taking long at all to complete pretty fun little projects let me see what other kind of designs we have we've completed three. Oh, this is the one i've just done i've done this one they have several of these how many different ones do they have i've done this one. Oh, this is a different um a different one right yeah this is a different one let me work on this one too i'm gonna be sitting here just like oh i'm only gonna complete a couple but <laughs> I am on my fourth one. I'm really enjoying these. At first, um, when I first started diamond painting, I was like, I'm never going to do those little special cheesy projects and I'm never going to do a partial. And now I really enjoy doing all of these things, you know. So it's become fun to me. Never say never, right? I'm like, I don't want those special rhinestones. I didn't even used to like ABs because they were so hard to place. But now, you know, I they're so beautiful. I'm like, they're beautiful, but I don't have to have them because they're they're just not worth the trouble. But now it's not a problem. And if you still have a problem, you can use the pretty placer as well. And it'll help you... Uh, place them a little bit better and easier um let's see here this one has a little intricate slivers in there as well also i would like to try out some new diamond painting companies too i always go on different sites and add things to my cart <laughs> and somehow they never make it to purchase i really want to order something from oral loa I've been looking at them for a while now, and I'm like, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to order. Oh, also, I'm like, oh, should I order from them now and not count them as one of my 14 paintings? <laughs> I'm like, it's still December. I can order from them now, and then that won't count towards my 14 paintings, right? Oh my gosh, it's a never-ending cycle. So my husband wanted to get me a couple of diamond paintings for Christmas. 
and I went on the Diamond Art Club site and a lot of the paintings that I wanted were like out of stock. Like a lot of the Black Friday ones that I added to my um my wish list. I'm like, oh, I can get a like a couple of those because he was gonna get me two. And all of the Black Friday paintings that I wanted were out of stock. And I'm like, oh no, oh my gosh. But that's okay. I just picked two others that has been on my wish list for a while. So I'll show you guys that after the holidays, show you what I got. I did get a gift for my birthday. I never showed you, and that was going to be one of the videos, and I totally never wrote it down, and I, I'm just thinking about it now as I'm sitting here. I'm like, oh my gosh, because I have like boxes everywhere, right? And my birthday's in November, and I did get a gift for my friend from Amazon. Oh, I guess I can show you guys that. Um, she bought me some uh, diamond paintings and a light pad and like a storage container. And I have lots of storage containers and I'm like, of course, I can always use more, right? But one of the diamond paintings she got me, it said I can return it until January 31st. And I got it in November and I still haven't returned it, but I do need to process a return on that because I already have it and uh so I do need to return one of the diamond paintings that she got for me but I thought that was really nice really nice gift um I do have uh another light I have three light pads now one of them I can't find so I purchased another one <laughs> I purchased one from Amazon couldn't find it and I really wanted to work on my diamond painting so then I went to uh, Joann's and I got another one and then I found the first one my mother had it and then um, <laughs> my friend bought me one so I'm like now I have three light pads I don't know where the other one is now that I don't know Guys, um, I still have boxes that I haven't unpacked yet. And I moved into my house in June. It's like craft supplies that I don't use all the time. Um, I have tons of jewelry. That's another thing that I want to do for the new year. I used to sell paparazzi jewelry. And I have thousands, like 2,000 pieces of jewelry like the $5 jewelry that I need to sell. Of course, I'm not gonna sell it for like $5. I'm gonna discount it because I just need to get rid of it. Um, And those are some of the boxes as well. I don't even know what jewelry I have anymore because I just have so much of it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to go through this stuff and post it. Maybe I'll po post it in batches and just give a, a good discount. I almost threw it away when I was moving, but I'm like, no, I paid a ton of money for this stuff. Um, I'm not going to throw away like a thousand pieces of, of jewelry. Perfectly good jewelry. And I'm like, because I really enjoy making my own jewelry. Oh, that reminds me, my Etsy shop. Guys, I never opened my Etsy shop. It was supposed to open December 1st. But with shipping, some of my stuff didn't come in. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, this is just causing such a delay. So I'm going to open it and reannounce it in the uh, new year when it's going to open. Because now I have everything, of course. But it, the stuff wasn't in by December 1st. And you know how you order stuff and it says, oh, it'll be here on this day. And then it's like, sorry, your your stuff is running late. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what is happening? And then things just tend to get lost. So I'm like, I was supposed to open December 1st. I have a, some stuff ready, but I'm like, after the 25 days of Christmas, because I had already planned to do this, I'm like, I'm not going to be able to do that and launch this Etsy shop because my stuff didn't come in on time. I learned a valuable lesson from that as well. So yeah, it'll be launched in the new year and that's perfectly fine. Um, 
but I never told you guys. Someone asked me about it too, and I'm like, oh, I didn't launch yet. And I totally forgot to mention it or make a post or whatever. These are really fun. I don't know how long I've been talking. I don't think I've been talking about much of anything. So I appreciate if you have made it to this point in the video. I'm just gonna finish this off and then we will be done. I am glad that I got the, I did do like a whip and chat style and got some of my jitters out because I'm like, no one's gonna wanna listen to me talk. <laughs> but it's okay. It is quite okay. Hopefully you're working along on a project as well. So you, you know, sometimes I just like to hear things in the background when I'm working on my projects. You know, I was thinking about this and I, so uh, I used to have a friend where we would like uh, diamond paint at, together and you know, you get busy and um she she has a lot going on in school and everything so she hasn't even diamond painted in a while i don't think and we're not diamond painting together anymore and it's so sad i'm like i really miss just talking and diamond painting we would sing Ham oh she's a singer too we would sing hamilton songs and diamond paint and it was just so fun and i absolutely loved it and i'm like i am really missing companionship while I diamond paint just like talking and singing and things I do miss that oh these are X's oh well, my last color so how long it says 50 minutes so in 50 minutes I've almost completed four of these and well four for the one side because they're they are double-sided four of these and um I still probably would complete a couple of more if I didn't have four other videos to record <laughs> or if I had uh like a lot of lot of things to talk about because like I said there's not much going on in my life So yeah, that was the last one. That one's super pretty as well. So yeah, I really did enjoy these. Uh, so hopefully I'll have them done for next season, right? And you can use these season to season. And I think it'll be pretty cute like um, to diamond paint these ornaments and put it on like one of those small little Christmas trees and have it like in an office or something on a table or something like that. Um... Yeah. So um, I, this tray worked up real fine if I can remember to use the spout here and not, it, the bottom worked fine too, whatever. Um, but yeah, I just had so much fun with these little projects and chatting a bit. These are the four that I was able to complete while we we're on this video let me I know both sides aren't done but I'm gonna attach one of these to just see how they attached okay so you have a little hole here and you do that so if I was using this as an ornament I would just probably attach it here and hang it on the tree or you can use the little hooks that you get but I would use these for like a key, if I was going to do like a keychain or hang it from a rear view mirror or something like that. Let's see here. Oh, it felt like I was breaking it. Okay, so here we are. Of course, you would complete the other side, but here you are. And that's how it will look finished. And they give you enough to put on all of these. I love that it was 20 in here. I believe that this was 20 bucks for the 20. So about a dollar a piece. So 
yeah they have so many ornaments on amazon and as you've guys seen i got ornaments from other companies too and there was ornaments in both of my diamond painting advent calendars i believe so so many little style of ornaments but i thought that the snowflakes would be really really pretty to do like a winter wonderland theme this year i did like traditional like reds greens and things like that but i kind of really wanted to do the winter wonderland theme like on my porch but i didn't do it i did traditional so i don't know next year i might use these to decorate a little christmas tree for my porch or my craft room or anything like that i had so much fun with this little whipping chat if you will um yeah so there's tons more snowflakes for me to complete maybe um i can get um some of my family to try diamond painting and they can complete ornaments because i do have family coming for the holiday season maybe we can sit around and complete ornaments because i have been wanting my sisters to try diamond painting um and see how they like it they're like oh, we're not doing that i don't have time for that or you know but i'm like just try a little one so i think the ornaments would be a great way for them to try it to see if they actually like it thank you for listening to me ramble with my annoying voice so yeah guys that is all i have for you today if you love diamond painting crafting and all things hobbies make sure you like comment subscribe and share my videos with a friend until then i will see you guys in the next video bye bye